because chronic diseases, right? As people get old, we tend to get uh, diabetes, Alzheimer's, uh, cardiac problems. We kind of touched on that already, that it, it, it reduces the insulin resistance. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I kind of how, yeah, I guess, how does it do that? And can you elaborate on that? Yeah, sure. So, you know, if, if you ever could speak to your great grandmother, mm -hmm. who was a mid Victorian, she would have told you that we don't have any heart disease. We don't have any cancer. We have incredible health. Our life expectancy, if you get past childbirth and childhood, your life expectancy is exactly the same as it is today. So that's what your great grandmother would have told you. And she would have told you that they had a surplus of good foods in their diets. It all came from the farm and it was abundance. And then what happened in the 1870s, all of a sudden, imported foods came from America, condensed milk, because the canning industry had just started. Mm. And the health of the British fell dramatically. And within a short, sorry, I'm just waving to some friends who've just come <laughs> in. The health of the British fell immediately. And we know that because we fought the Boer War against you guys then. And, and the recruits, they had to turn away 50% of the recruits for the Boer War in England because they were unmalnourished because now they were eating bread and sugar and all those sorts of things and their health had draw, fallen. So if we went back to your great grandmother, she would have been extraordinarily healthy and she wouldn't know, she wouldn't recognize any of the diseases, the chronic diseases that we see today, the diabetes, the heart disease, the cancers, she wouldn't recognize them. The, the doctors wouldn't recognize them. So what's happened is that the diet has changed and to call these chronic diseases of lifestyle, they are not. They are diseases of nutrition. Simple as that. So 85% of chronic disease is related to what we're eating. And the treatment is correct the diet. Now, you, you can't say that if you're a medical doctor because we prescribe pills. You've got heart disease, you take a statin. But the reason you've got heart disease is because you've got diabetes and you've got high blood glucose, you've got high insulin. And there's no drugs that effectively reverse that as well as a keto diet. So that's the problem. The whole medical industry is based on a, on a flawed model. The flawed model is that your disease is reversible with some pharmaceutical agent that just happens to be patented, just happens to make a lot of money for the pharmaceutical industry. And that's going to help you, but it doesn't. You, you can't reverse chronic disease with medications. You have to go to diet. And that, that's, that's the problem. So all the 85% of the chronic diseases that, that we have are reversible with a high fat diet. Right. And so the, the underlying mechanism that's kind of at the root of all of that is the insulin resistance that, the, that builds up because you've just got too much sugar floating around. That's absolutely correct. Yeah. And so you, and you have to address that by cutting the carbohydrates, but right. in most cases quite severely. And it's very difficult in the food environment that we have which is highly carbohydrate-driven and highly toxic. Uh, yes, yes, I would agree. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button and choose all for any new video release notifications. It encourages us to continue to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.